Hi, Yarny friends. This is Stephanie with Stephanie's Yarn Escape. Thank you for joining me today. It is Sunday, October 25th, 2020, and this is episode number 14. This is a crochet podcast where I share uh, with you my Yarny adventure, all the shenanigans I get into that's yarn related. So um, I have lots to share with you guys today. I have a huge announcement at the end. Um, so make sure you hang around with that. You're not going to want to miss it. Um, so with that being said, put up your feet, grab your favorite, favorite beverage because you deserve to relax for a little bit and enjoy what I have to show you guys. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with, um, on Monday nights, I do, I join my friend Christy from Crochet Creations by Chris, by Christy. Um, she has a uh, makers group on Facebook. Um, on Monday nights, she has a virtual knit night. Um, and I enjoy going to it. I look forward to it every Monday. Um, and I have a project that most of the time I work on. I don't work on it every single time, but um, I need something that's easy where I don't have to pay attention, read, use any brain power. Um, plus, it's Monday. And who has brain power at the end of the day on Mondays? Certainly not me. So I have a blanket that I typically work on on virtual knit night. And let's see here. I've showed you guys this in the past. It's only grown a little bit. Um, it's a decent size so far. I would say, you know, I could even probably do one more white stripe after this and then do another color block of this color. And I would probably even classify that as done because it's, it's up that that's touching the ground. It's already up that high. So I may even have enough yarn to do, um, two blankets really, if not the same size, maybe something smaller. Um, I kind of wish I made this wider. Um, but I did it. I was, I got this yarn on clearance, so it, it what I have is what I have. So I didn't want to run out. So, but I guess I just didn't engage it right. I should have made it wider, but that's okay. It is what it is. I'm too far in to go back. I'm not going to rip it out at this point. And so if I have enough to make two blankets, then awesome. I have enough to make two blankets. Um, this is a simple um, V-stitch pattern. Like I said, mindless back and forth, back and forth in the V stitch. Um, this is where I was the last time I showed you guys. Where the stitch marker is. So I put on a few rows. Um, I got this stitch marker from um, Elizabeth from A Crafty Crocheter. Um, if you do not follow her, please do. Um, she makes some amazing, beautiful things. Um, but yeah, I only put a few rows on. I was working on something else as well this past Monday. So this didn't get a whole lot of love. Um, but that's okay. It's nothing for nothing in particular. And it's super soft. I absolutely love working on this. Um, let me show you the yarn I'm using. I'm using Bernat Baby Velvets and Terracotta Rose. And I'm also pairing it with Bernat Velvet and white. The Terracotta Rose is a four, four medium weight. It is 492 yards. Um, and then the white is actually a five bulky, 315 yards. Um, like I said, I bought this on clearance at Joanne's and I bought like, I think five, four or five skeins of it. Um, this is only my second one. And then I have, I bought the white with some coupons when I, whenever I went to the, um, the store, the yarn store, um, they are a different thickness. You can't, you can tell the white is a little bit, um, fuzzier than the terracotta rose one. You guys can see that, but I noticed the difference when I'm working with it, but when it's worked up in the blanket, there's really no difference to someone who's not a crocheter, I guess. Um, so it's fine. 
everything is fine. So that's uh, whip number one. The other whip I have going is, um, I've showed you guys in the past lots of episodes, is um, hats because I've been on a hat kick lately. And not just any hats, I've been on plaid lately. Um, I wanted to make a bunch of different sizes and hats and stuff. Um, so this is a plaid hat. This is a child, uh, what size is this? This is a toddler size. So it looks small, but it's super stretchy because of that brim. And I love the stretch of brim because no one has the same size head. So you need the stretch to fit all the heads. So um, the pattern is by MJ's Off the Hook Designs. Um, it is the Buffalo Plaid Family Hats. Um, she does have a YouTube tutorial on the one size. Um, but this is like three hats into one. Um, there's the plaid with just a regular like size brim like this. And then she has another version where you can have a wider brim and then you can flip up the brim. And then she has the version in the pattern for um, the ribbed hats. So like you can make a ton of like coordinating hats. Like how awesome is that? And um, it comes in all the sizes that you, you could possibly imagine that you would need. Baby, toddler, child, ladies, and men's. So I bought the pattern on Ravelry because I like to have the paper patterns in front of me. So, um, so that's what I did. So I, I'm just continuing on. The yarn I'm using is one of my favorites. Um, Karen Simply Soft. This is Gray Heather. This is what I use for the brim. This was not a full skein. I didn't use all this yarn for that brim. This was a partial skein. I didn't need to open up a full skein when I already had one open. Um, for the plaid part, I'm using black, uh, autumn red, and harvest red. So that makes the plaid colors. So yeah, that is whip number two. Um, that's all I've been really working on. I've been working on a project for part of the week, um, which you guys will find out when I announce, make my huge announcement. So hang tight. It's coming. It's coming. Trust me. So, but I do have some baby sets for orders I need to complete. So I need to get those on my hooks and get those moving because, um, I have three total I need to do and they all need to be done. One needs to be done in December, two in January. So it doesn't, it seems like I have time, but the baby sets include a blanket, a sweater, a hat, a lovey and booties. So that's a lot of items. So I got to get a move on those. Okay. So I have some finished objects. Um, they're all small and that's what I needed. I was going through, um, a small time there where I needed, like I was just doing a lot of big projects and I just felt like I wasn't completing anything and I needed some sort of completion, like the satisfaction of I made, I finally completed something. So um, after I finished those big um, items that I did recently, I decided to put on my hook some smaller objects, uh, so smaller items, um, just to have that um, satisfaction of completing something um, before I start diving into these big items. So I took a little bit of a break there for uh, things that I wanted to make and I've been wanting to make and stuff and been putting off. So the first item I showed you guys as a whip last week is a snowman. Look at him. He's a little pom pom. Cute. Look at that. Okay, so this snowman, and I apologize. Last week, I believe I said this was MJ's Off the Hook Designs pattern. It is not. It is um, Repeat Crafter Me. Um, she has a YouTube tutorial on um, how to make the snowman. So I'll be sure to link that down below. Um, it was super easy to make, super cute. I love, um, I love the pattern. Um, so the yarn I use is, uh, this is just Red Heart White. And I had some um, pumpkin and um, Karen Simply Soft for the nose. 
black for the embroidery uh, for the mouth uh, nine millimeter eyes this red hat with the, the the string of metallic through it was a um yarn that i got the mill ends that i bought at michael's it was a bag of mill ends my daughter actually picked it out because it was sparkly um so i used a little bit of that and i used this pom-pom that you just buy in the craft section at walmart um, any craft store and i just sewed it right in there um you can make the little pom-poms as well too but i thought this one was cute it fit perfectly I was going to make this into an ornament, but it's kind of big, you know, so I think to hang it on a uh, tree branch, it's, that's going to droop. So I'm just going to just not sell it as an ornament. I'm going to, it's just a decorative snowman. So that is my first finished object that I really enjoy. I actually want to make some other ones with different color hats and stuff. So, so yeah. The next finished object that I have, excuse me, it was a whip last week. It's one of the plaid hats. I finished it up. I was about here last week. Finished it up. Added a pom pom. Um, this is the Buffalo plaid family hats. This is the baby size. Um, I just showed this a minute ago. This pattern here. Um, this is, like I said, the baby size, um, stretchy, my pom poms, there we go, nice and stretchy. Um, then I attached inside, I got this idea from Marley Bird. I attach a button inside. I don't know if you can see it because it's black, but it's right there. Um, I messed up and hooked, attaching the button, but it works. Um, then you wrap the string from your pom pom if you have that kind and wrap it around the button so then you'll unattach it throw in a washing machine your pom-pom is saved and then you just reattach um so yeah i uh, used white for uh the brim um in the karen simply soft and then i used the red black the two shades of red and black in the karen simply soft the harvest red autumn red and black that i just showed a few minutes ago so yeah, it's super cute, and I think the pom-poms just make it even cuter. Um, like I said, I want to make, so what I'm doing is, um, this is the baby size, and this is the toddler size, so this is the next size up. I changed the color of the brim, um, and then the next size up is the child size, I believe. Um, yeah, child size. So after I finish this one, I'm going to go ahead and make the next size up. I'm just going to keep going and do this color. And then if time allows it, like I said, I have three baby steps I got to do. So I may be way in over my head. I'm going to work on it as much as I can. But I want to do other colors in the plaid hat. So um, the green pumpkins I showed in my past episodes, I think that colorway in the plaid hats would be really cute too so that would be my next one but hopefully I have time to do it if not then so be it eventually it will happen but I'm just on a plaid kick I don't know why but I'm running with it we're making everything plaid and that's okay so I have one more finished object it is a ornament it's a Christmas light ornament. So cute. Nice size. Um, this is Dasher's Dazzling Lights. Um, there is a Facebook group. Um, it's called Reindeer Games Cal. Um, I think you can still join. I got your arm fuzz. I think you can still join. I'm not 100% positive. Um, I will attempt to link it down below. Um, but what they're doing, they're doing nine weeks of, uh, small patterns. And this was last week's. I wanted to make some more. I do plan on making some more. This was super easy. This took one evening, um, to do. I love the pattern. You could do all sorts of colors. It doesn't take much yarn. It doesn't take much polyfill. It, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, so yes, I want to do, uh, some green and some gold and 
um, whatever other colors I can find. Um, maybe some blue. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. I do want to make some more. Um, Dasher's Dazzling Lights. So there's that. And that's all I've been working on. I have been working on a project um, that I can't show you guys. And I know. I don't. When people, other podcasters say that, um, I'm like, oh, then why are you saying about it? I want to see it now. But this is going to now lead me into my huge announcement. So, um, there is a brand new crochet along happening and it's hosted by, uh, Christy from Crochet Creations by Christy and me. Um, so what we're calling it is the progressive mystery crochet along. So let me tell you about it. Uh, like I said, me and Christy are hosting it. Um, it is a nine week crochet along. It starts on November 1st and it will end on January 2nd. Um, just looking at some notes. So, um, I wrote everything down. So I don't, try, I, hopefully I don't forget anything. Um, so, um, we're announcing it today. So week one will start next week and it is a mystery crochet along. Um, it's so you can go to, we both have Facebook groups and I will link them both down below. Um, we have a post in there that is the official post. Um, it's found under the announcements tab um on both of our pages so if you just click that announcements um you can go there read all the details um and that post is where you want to gonna post pictures um the crochet along um you will have to make the item 100 percent in um within those two months um we will be posting uh weekly clues um and sometimes drawing winners from the progress photos. So be sure to show what you're working on as you're working on it. Um, so yes, every week we're going to uh, be releasing clues of what you need to do next. Um, there's two versions. So they're, they're the same, but different. So, cause that's how we roll. <laughs> so um, you could do Christie's version. Or you could do my version. You could find my version on Facebook, on the on my Facebook group, or you could find her version on her Facebook group. So you could do one or the other, or you can do both. Um, you can enter your progress photo into both Facebook groups. Um, the grand prizes will be announced as part of the progressive drawing. So, oh my goodness. Um, the clues are going to be released on our YouTube channels. Um, I'm going out of order of my notes, so I'm losing myself. So bear with me. Um, one of the things that um, you have to have is a U.S. address. Um, I'm sorry, but is just for shipping costs and stuff, um, we're just going to ask that it be U.S. residents only. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I don't think I forgot anything. Um, it's completely, uh, sponsored by Christy and I, um, it is not, um, sponsored by Facebook, YouTube, any yarn companies. We are supplying, um, everything. Um, it's 100% us. It's been an adventure. Let me tell you that I haven't hosted a crochet along before. I've attempted to participate in crochet alongs, um, but to host one, I thank, thank, thanks to Christy and her knowledge and stuff. Um, she's, she's got the knowledge. She's done these before. Um, so that's what's helped me too. But Christy and I, we, I, we make a great team. I'll tell you that we are just constantly bouncing ideas off each other. Um, we, this is going to be pretty exciting. You guys are going to want to participate. So today with the announcement 
of the crochet along, the progressive mystery crochet along, um, we are going to uh, tell you what you need to have to get started because the first clues come out next week, November, November 1st. So you're going to want to get ready, right? So um, you can find all those details on both of our Facebook groups. Um, over at Christie's, you can find what you need for hers. She's going to also have a video on her YouTube channel as well. And you can find the supplies for mine on my Facebook group and it, all those will be linked down below. So the yarn I used for mine is the Loops and Threads Barcelona. Um, this is the Arctic colorway. I don't think you can get this colorway anymore, but Barcelona yarn, Michael still has it. So you will need approximately 1100 yards of a five bulky yarn. Um, so you don't have to use the Barcelona. You can use a five bulky, any yarn you want to use, dig through your stash, see what you got. You will need 1100 yards. Um, you will also need an L hook or an eight millimeter. Um, to get started. So, um, it is, you will, you may need other supplies, but we are not announcing those until later. So, um, yeah, get your yarn out. Um, I will tell you the name of the pattern and it's called, um, Grandma's Forever Hug. So, yes, I uh, am very excited. Um, I can't, I, I hope you guys are just as excited as we are. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, be sure to post those pictures. Um, we want to see how you're doing. If you have any questions with whatever instructions we release to, you, to everybody, don't hesitate to ask us. We will help you. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Post pictures. I can't wait to see everybody's um, progress because it's just going to be a lot of fun. So in the meantime, get that yarn out. Go through your stash. Go to the yarn store. Order online. Whatever you need to do. And um, be ready. Okay? All right. That's all I have for you guys. That is all. And let me just check over. Yeah, that's it. Not a whole lot, but that's okay. That's what I got. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy your week. I will be back next week with the first clue of the progressive mystery crochet along. And, um, Yes, enjoy your week and keep that yarn running through those fingers. I'll talk to you later. Bye.